Hey everyone, welcome back to The Hidden Brick, where today we're doing part two of the build of the Lego Batman movie, The Scuttler set. This is set number 70908. This is how far we made it in part one. If you missed any of it, check it out. There's a link down below. Right now, we're gonna move all this to the side because we're on to bag number three. Bag number three is by far the smallest bag of all the bags that were in this set. There's seven bags total. So, not quite sure why they made this one so small, but we'll just go with it. We have two more minifigures to build in this bag. We have, um, looks like Barbara Gordon. So, interesting figure here. She has printed, printed pants. And then just this plain black um, shirt. You see it's got the short sleeves. You can see her, her uh, flesh. And then she's wearing black gloves. Um, it's an undecorated shirt because she has this uh, armor piece that goes over it. It actually goes like this. And we'll put her head on. She has an angry face and then kind of this uh, little smirk face. I like the angry face because she's in her get stuff done outfit. And then she's got the, the long wavy red hair pulled up in a ponytail with this little gold ponytail holder. So that is Barbara Gordon. Really nice looking figure. I love the tactical vest that she's wearing. So that's cool. Next figure is the Joker. The Joker has this really long tail piece for his coat. So it's this vinyl plastic type material that we have to carefully put it on the little bars that are sticking up off the legs. Once you have it on there, quickly put the torso on before they uh, pop off. Then he has his double printed face. He kind of has this smirky grin and then his big cheesy smile. So I'm actually going to leave it this kind of evil grin. Now, he is going to be carrying a little weapon. So, where is it at? Okay, so it's this black loud hailer piece. That we're going to put a gray bar in it. I said we're going to put a gray bar up oh, there. It is. I don't know why. It's hard, so hard for me to see those pieces. And he's got the little flag. So it's a little, you know, Joker style gun where you think you're going to get um, shot, but then this little flag just pops out. It says bang. But it's just a diversion because typically the trap has already been set and he's. Um, distracting the good guys with his little Joker antics. So there's Joker and his little Joker gun. Put him over there with everyone else. Alright, so we're going to continue on with the Scuttler build. Zoom out and not in. So two of these 3 by 3 plates connect a technic brick to it tile plate brick a pink brick and then another brick ah that slipped out of my hand went flying 
luckily didn't really break. Just one little piece fell off. All right. So now we have this plate with a Technic pin on the side. Put this little gear. That will go there. We have this trans clear plate. Another plate with a pin on the side. Put that pin in, another gear. That goes there. Two brackets on this side, one on this side. Oops, right here. Another trans clear plate. Two of the two by three plates. Turn this over. We have more brackets. We have more plates. Back around like this. Two friction pins. Two by two jumper. Two by two round plate. Over there we have a two by two reddish brown plate and then these two plates with clips. Cheese slope wedge brick. We have another wedge brick here with a ingot piece. We have a sticker. Sticker number four. This says the Scuttler. It's all of Batman's major vehicles that we've built. He uh, he labels them. In case he forgets what vehicle it is. It's just the way Batman is. Okay, so this piece will pop on there. Turn this over, we have four of these one by three inverted slopes. Turn it back around. little telephone handle piece the two trans yellow studs on there those will represent lights bring over our scuttler piece and this will connect here Next we have this Technic piece that will slide in there. So that kind of interlocks everything together. Okay. So that was a quick and easy bag number three. So let's go ahead and move on to our fourth bag right now. All right, we have all of our bag four parts dumped out. Um, another small bag of parts. Although the, the bag itself was physically bigger than bag number three, still not very many parts. Okay, so we have this two times build where we have these large click hinge pieces. Make 
both get this little pin joiner and these will click onto the sides here. Move that to the side. with a bar, plate with two studs on the side, trans clear plate, another trans clear, we have a double wide cheese slope and then this double wide long curved slope piece. plate with these two by two round tile. Turn this around. Some inverted slopes and a square anti-tile. This piece will go right there. This dark tan brick has uh, studs on two sides. So it's a slightly different brick. Then this one has the studs on just the one side. Double wide bow shape. We have a stud here. Slotted slope and a cheese slope here. We have this classic flick fire missile piece that goes there. Turn this around, we have two inverted bow shapes. As another stud. And this will go right here. All right. So it looks like we're going to basically repeat these steps, except this is a opposite hand or reverse one. Kind of goes fast once you remember what you just did. Sometimes they're a little tricky to get on. Another stud there. I'm surprised they haven't given us too many extra studs. But that's okay. 
So you can see those are the, basically the back legs <coughs> of the, the vehicle. Kind of goes like that. So that completes, I kind of show it like this for now. That completes bag number four. So let's go ahead and move on to the fifth bag right now. Okay, we have all of our bag five parts dumped out and this is gonna be similar to bag three, except we don't have many figures. We do have these little pieces here that we're gonna... It's basically gonna create the little arm extenders, extenders for the front arm pieces. Once again, these one by two plates with the Technic piece. It's there, we have our clear piece. And our two by three plates. Turn it over, we have more brackets. Clear plate, regular plate, regular plate. Turn it back around. Number six, the scuttler. Okay, that looks good. Around two friction pins. And we have our one by three double inverted slope. Creates the lights, bring the sky back over. Pop that on. Right there. That goes in there. Have these hoses go in that axle come up go 
under that axle. Repeat it for this other side. All right. So let's go ahead and move on to bag number six. Okay, it looks like bag six is going to create the two main extender arms. So we're going to create them, well, not probably both of them at the same time, but it looks like there's going to be a portion of it that's going to be created two times, I guess is what they call it. We're going to build two of them. So as I get to a certain point before I turn the page, I'm actually going to finish all the steps for both of them so I don't have to go all the way back and repeat the same thing. So I've turned the page. Moving on to this. We have six of these pins with the stud on the end. And a couple plates. Get this other one caught up. Plates can actually go on before those pins with studs. In my opinion, it makes it easier to put these on because the little Technic bricks are not moving around. Okay, so that's the last pin out of this bag. Or the last type of that pin. There's, well, Actually, it does look like all the pins are done for this bag. Okay, we have a tile with a clip. Slotted tile, and then a tile with a clip. Okay, we have some of these mixel joint pieces and a jumper tile, cheese slope. I have this bar piece goes there. I have these long sweeping curved bricks. And these get a jumper tile here, three by three. Whoops, put that one on too soon. Grab my brick separator. Um, it's supposed to have a one by three plate right there. Okay. Let's get the other one caught up before I turn the page. slope bar the jumper tile let's do this right let's put the one by three on first and then we'll put the Three by three on. Okay. Next we have three of these rack gears. Have a antenna piece. Slotted tile, two by three brick.
clever. Okay. Next we have sloped bricks that are gonna have stickers. It's gonna be sticker number three. There's four of them. Because there's four of these slopes. up the last one. Alright. Good enough. So these go here. And then we have these stud launcher plates. Modified plate with the stud launcher gun on it. gun on and then I'm gonna pop the trigger in there. Okay. Next we have two bow shapes. And on the underside we have this inverted slope piece. Lever fell off. Okay. Two bow shapes. Invert it up. Pretty good. So we will now bring over our main model. You can see this piece has that slot in there. We slide this through. moment of truth. It should go through there. It looks like it does. Alright. Now we're going to create basically a stop piece for it. two tiles. These two tiles will get stickers. Okay, so that's our first one. Here's the second, and these really long stickers sometimes can be tricky. Looks like got those on okay. Bring this guy over. Pop those on there. So that should allow it, yeah, it does allow it to stop. Very good. Next we have two of the front feet, I guess you would call it. That's our first one. There 
There's our second. These pop onto these mixel joints on the front here. There we go. And then we have these studs that will go inside of the stud launchers. Just like that. They do give us extra studs in case you do shoot one somewhere and lose it. All right. So we're now on to our seventh and final bag right now. Okay, we have everything dumped out. And first thing we're gonna do is a couple long tiles with some stickers on them. So we have this really long sticker kind of Pop it on, line it up, slide it all the way down. It looks a little crooked, but what can you do? These are pretty tricky to get on. Okay, so once you kind of got to get the end on. Slowly put the rest on and hope that it lines up. So these will go onto the sides of the arms. Just like that. Then the inside of the arms have a couple little details too. Uses a lot of these black ingot pieces. Okay, so that's our first one. This one will go right there. Second one is identical. Need that other ingot piece. There it is. I'll go there. All right. So now let's build the um, cockpit area where Batman can pilot this vehicle. Let's see. These need to go over one stud. Grab my separator again it's actually gonna have a plate underneath there have a bracket under this side modified tiles with studs on the end turn this over we have a wedge plate on the underside, as well as an anti-tile. Couple more plates. All right, we have a cheese slope with a sticker. Control panel on this side. We'll also get a sticker. Couple jumper tiles and a bracket. Button and a lever. Two plates with clips. Now, this is last sticker time. It goes 
there. Tile here. Let's see, we have a reddish brown plate, a reddish brown tile with a bar. Two more plates with studs. Two headlight bricks. Have our new one by one. Corner brick with studs on two sides. Another reddish brown plate. Now some of these black plates with studs on the side. Assortment of cheese slopes. yellow diamond gem type pieces in here along with a brown tile okay we have this rocker brick the rocker plate this trans light blue panel body work on okay so we have this no which one this one wedge plate a hinged plate and a reverse baby bow shape That'll go here. Kind of creates the ears. We have another stud launcher plate. And another wedge plate here. Along with this flag panel. Two of these slotted sloped pieces. Turn this around. Basically repeating the steps over here. launcher don't shoot your eye out have our big windscreen piece and put our studs in there for our stud launcher pieces. Move all this to the side, bring this over. Just a little Technic pen sticking out. It's gonna go right inside there. And that completes the scuttler. So let me move this back a bit. Sorry, sorry, shaking the camera like crazy. There it is. So, features are the arms extend out see it gets pretty big they do move pretty well as well with these big click hinge pieces oh, you can see that play feature just shot out the web or I mean the net and of course it's got the, the rear legs 
Rear legs kind of look small compared to the big front end. So, don't forget, we also have all of our minifigures. You have Poison Ivy, Batman, and his little um, escape pod or, or jet pack. We have Barbara Gordon, Commissioner Gordon. You have Dick Grayson. And don't forget the Joker. All right, so thanks for watching. If you watch both parts, let me know. Put a comment down below. If you need to see more LEGO Batman movie builds, then check out the links down below. I have uh, links to all those other videos, so make sure to check them all out. Tell me your thoughts of this set. Put a comment down below, and we will see you in the next one.